Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Keeping up the Brazilian CTU hype, today I will present the Bob's attacker, Capitão. He's a very controversial character, so let's take a special look at him. Again, I will not read all his weapon stats because I already did in my school rain review. If you haven't seen yet, please check it out here at the channel. Okay, Capitão has three headgears available so far. This ugly one, the default one, and shit. Do we have a Scorpion from Mortal Kombat on Rainbow Six Siege now? It's also ugly. And finally, this, this last one here is probably the ugliest among them. Anyways, when I first picked Capitão, I thought he was an average character. His ability is not too shabby, but it's fun to play as Capitão. But after a while playing with him, I noticed this guy has the potential to be a game changer. And I'll tell you why. His underestimated crossbow is amazing. It's super strong and can cause ridiculous damage. If the enemy is not aware, he can die quite fast in the radius. But what I love about it, it's how tactical it is. If there is an enemy holding a position, you can astound him, forcing him to move to other position. Meanwhile, you can take him out or go for the objective. And honestly, I don't think the crossbow should be used to kill enemies primarily. It's more tactical to prevent the opponents to get close. If you use it in a door or a hallway, it gives you time to play in a diffuser or to grab the hostage or even to hold a position inside the objective. Or you simply can keep enemies with shotguns, for example, at long range. Capitão's special ability is just great. His weapons are also really good. The M249 is fair enough, the recoil is not a big problem, it's easy to handle. But at long range, the damage is reduced a lot though. I struggled sometimes to kill heavy armor characters from far away. I had to spend almost half of my 100 bullets capacity. But at medium range, it works well. But I think this weapon was developed to be used on terrorist Hundo. When it comes to multiplayer, the Para 308 is a more solid gun. It has 52 of damage and it's really good at all ranges. This weapon is basically the same of Thermite 556XI. There is some recoil, but it's not too crazy though, and it's a very reliable and versatile rifle, so I would always go with the Para 308 online. To conclude, Capitão is amazing. Due to his agility, he can move like ash, create traps like smoke, and combat as Thermite. He's a key man for tactical approach. He needs to be used with his strategy to contemplate his whole team though. But I do think Capitan will be picked very often uncompetitive due to his versatile capacity and tactical potential. And on casual and ranked even more just by the fact he is one of the fastest operators in the game. So do not underestimate Capitan. He is spectacular. Oh, and one last thing, uh, due to this DLC here, I'm late on my top 10 plays of July. I apologize for it, but I promise that I will post it tomorrow, alright? That's it for today's video, guys. Catch you later, and bye, amigos. Okay.